I'm going to give you five crucial tips to improve your guitar playing as a beginner. These tips helped me to achieve faster progress in the last year. I'm 31 years old and I've been playing guitar for one year. It's never too late to begin with the instrument. You can always learn. It doesn't matter how old are you. Do a warm-up routine before you start to practice songs. Search YouTube for at least two or three different 10 to 15 minute workouts or warm-ups and play each of them in turn every day. If you can begin with the normal speed, go slower. You can slow down or fast up YouTube videos. Do these workouts until you play perfectly with like double speed. So it's like picking uh, 0 0.5. I'm not sure if you can actually slow down to 0 0.25, but anyway, begin this slowly until you can play the whole workout with double speed. Then you can actually step up into next video in same kind of exercises to find advanced ones but for now search two or three different workouts or warm-up routines that are completely different but beginner friendly this will improve your playing palettes trust me second tip immediately learn to play with alternate picking i try to show it here like down picking up picking down picking up picking down pick like this this is alternate picking and also don't keep your plectrum like straight forward because then you're getting stuck you know if you keep your plectrum straight forward you just get stuck and it's really hard to do alternate picking move it a little bit to side it's not easy to understand what i'm saying i'm gonna do a separate video of like a beginner example how you can understand how to do great alternate picking so that you can really improve it your playing and you can also combine this alternate picking method with workouts or warm-ups but alternate picking is actually helping you to play much faster because if you're always doing down picking you can't really play that fast but when you learn to alternate ones you can progress much forward much faster third one is uh, don't don't use plectrums under one millimeter. So this one is actually 1.5 millimeter and I'm having a Dunlop Max grip. I don't know if you can see this. Anyway, I'm gonna link some of them in my description. I've been trying several plectrums, but Dunlop Max grip, these are the best ones I've used. The surface is rough. It's not slippery or anything. You can keep the plectrum very well between your thumb and the first finger. If you're playing metal with the electric guitar and you're using under one millimeter plectrum, it's like 0 0.58 millimeters. So this is really thin. So what's actually happening doing this? It's really difficult to play solos or alternate petting or anything. If it's like, it's so thin. So when you're playing fast it's just it's not going to work out it that's no I, I would say one millimeter is the minimum go one millimeter and above i used to have 0 0.73 or 0 0.88 millimeters but when i progressed forward i noticed that still getting a bit going like this just a little bit but it was easier to begin with that felt easier to play with a plectrum that was a little moving between uh, the strings while i progressed i just noticed it 1.5 it's much better at beginning you might get a lot when you're changing strings you might get stuck with 1.5 millimeter plectrums but just keep practicing it will get easier you won't get stuck anymore and you will find out great alternate picking and uh, pix landing style i'm actually going pix landing in a different video i'm still learning that kind of playing style i, I really need to step up with the camera and my guitar is like you can you can't really see it it's i need to like put it like i, I need to go further away don't use plectrums under one millimeter. Or if you do, try to move as fast as you can to more thicker ones. If you're playing like acoustic guitar or different kind of music style, then acoustic, it's much better to have very, very thin ones. So this is for the like metal shred going for the playing like Amon Amart or that sort of stuff. Ah, this microphone. I need to figure out better ways to do these videos, damn it. The fourth one, play what you enjoy. Don't what others expect you to play. So that means if, if you were hating like Ramones or if you're hating Metallica or if you hate Iron Maiden, you're, you're not really getting ghost booms out of those songs. Why would you play something that you don't enjoy? So that's a really crucial thing. Try to find songs that you enjoy. That's you keep the motivation up. And it's like, oh my God, I can play this song. I'd be listening to this band and I never thought I would be playing this song. It's a really great feeling. It's also very important to start to play songs at your skill level or just above average of your skill level because then you just get frustrated and you just smash your guitar in, into the wall and never play again. So you have progress slowly. You need to have patience to learn. You will learn just to keep playing. It's a struggle sometimes. And the last one is go outside your comfort zone. You might play songs learning within days, but it's good to have songs that are slightly out of your skill level like try to learn something new the song you're playing of course you can have songs that are below your skill level 
you can smash them very quickly but always try to reach out for a, a little bit of discomfort start slowly or slower and then progress forward that's the way you can learn very very much faster than just playing easy songs that was my five crucial tips that helped me to improve during the last year subscribe for more because there are very very important guitar playing tips to come since i've been playing just one year and i'm progressing all the time everything is in like a fresh mind i want to share that helped me to go through the obstacles pushing through and learning the instrument see you in the next video <laughs>